So a Bright Behavior Therapy is a renowned organization that offers personalized therapy for children diagnosed with autism. With a dedicated team and a commitment to individualized care, they strive to create a better future for every child regardless of what they are diagnosed with. And recently they opened a new branch in the West Bloomfield area and they received recognition from the Chamber of Commerce uh, with, a, with a very cute little poll saying that it is a very bright idea to attend a Bright Behaviors Therapies opening ceremony. Uh, today we have behavior specialist and a clinic manager uh, at Bright Behavior Therapy, Sonia Salman, to tell us all about uh, their, their great work that they do at Bright Behavior Therapy and, and their experience opening in the West Bloomfield area. Sonia, thank you for joining us today and welcome to West Bloomfield. Hi, Diane. Thank you for having me today. It's we great are to very be here. We are very glad to have you here today. Uh, Sonia, can you please tell us a little bit more about your opening first before we de delve into more about uh, your organization and the clinic and how you help the children. Tell us about the opening and this experience in West Bloomfield. Yes, it was a great turnout. We had a lot of um, family members, a lot of parents coming and joining us, and a lot of families that actually came from our Dearborn location. So it was really nice to see the turnout, the support. You know, it was just amazing to see the outcome. Um, we had refreshments, we gave tours. Um, actually, Goldfish Swim School came out. We're partnering with them as well. Um, and it was just really nice to see the support from the community. Well, we are very glad to have you here, and we you have all our support. West Bloomfield, as we always say, is a very beautiful and diverse area, and we wish you the best here, and we are very glad to have you helping our children in West Bloomfield as well. We understand that this is your fourth branch, which means that you are very successful at what you do. Sonia, can, you, can we delve a little bit more into Bright Behavior Therapy? Can you tell us what exactly uh, you do and how you have helped families so far with the autism uh, with the autistic diagnosis journey? So Bright Behavior Therapy specializes in applied behavior analysis, which is an evidence-based treatment for children with autism. We specialize in early intervention. Our treatment is focused on individual treatment. Um, we have behavior analysts that work on creating a treatment plan and we have registered behavior technicians that work on um, implementing that treatment. Uh, we work on skills development, behavior management, reducing inappropriate behavior, increasing um, more appropriate behavior. We've helped families from the beginning. So we've started with just the initial diagnosis, referring them out to specific um, locations to get an autism evaluation. A lot of families don't even know where to start once a pediatrician tells them that, hey, um, your child might have autism. They don't know where to go. They don't know who to speak to. So we're here to help with that aspect as well. It's not just therapy. We're here for the parents as well. That's, that's very great, Sonia. And we do understand that applied behavior analysis therapy is a personalized care. Can you please tell us a little bit more about how you tailor those needs to each and every specific um, um, child? And how, how does this happen? How does the diagnosis process happen? And how does each autistic child differ from the other? So once a diagnosis happens, the parents come back to us for an assessment. We do an assessment and the assessment is where we weigh in options with the parents and ask them what they believe is more important to them. Some families might say, um, I want my child to speak, right? So we work on the verbal behavior approach, which is, uh, which is um, our main focus here at Bright Early Intervention, verbal behavior approach. We help personalize the treatment plan. We work with the parents, we work with the schools, we work with the daycares, um, really just making sure that it's a all collaborative intervention. Um, once we get the treatment plan going, then we work individually one-on-one. -on -one. The RBT works with the child and implementing the, the treatment. 
So, Sonia, we saw, uh, if anybody can, if, if people, whoever is hearing us now, you can visit uh, uh, Bright Behavior uh, Therapy's website at brightbehaviortherapy.com, and you will see there about us page. There is a sentence that really caught my eye, and it's, it mentions about how you help uh, families during the, this challenging times, which is the diagnosis, the beginning of it. Can you tell us a little bit, or can you give us just like an example uh, or a success story of these challenging times and how you helped this particular person or family to overcome these challenging times, as you mentioned on your website? Yeah, so unfortunately, doctors will throw out a comment, pediatricians will throw out a comment to the parents, letting them know, hey, I believe your child needs to get an autism evaluation. That's the first time the parents ever hear autism come out of a doctor's mouth in reference to their child. So they don't know where to go. Um, and so my goal here is to let families know that I am. I can be that gateway, that segment between not knowing where to go. They go online and, and it's a bunch of jargon and a lot of maybe this, maybe that. Um, so what happens is they end up on um, a, a waiting list to get an evaluation. I have a lot of um, friends in the community that are psychologists that help push through this um, evaluation, get it going faster, get on multiple wait lists, um, and a lot of insurances require to be on an AAEC site, which is a specific um, location where they want them to have a diagnosis through that specific center. And that wait list might take up to eight months. So what I've seen in the past is these parents are just waiting on an eight month wait list. And during that time, we can do what's called a bridge coverage. So we can get them services for ABA therapy while they're on this wait list. So we get an ADOS completed, which is an autism evaluation, get a diagnosis, start therapy, then um, while they're waiting for that, in, that more comprehensive evaluation to happen. So during that eight month wait time, you're not actually waiting, you're getting therapy, you're getting the help. Early intervention is key. So a lot of these family members that I've helped out in the past actually have had major progress before they even actually get their full autism evaluation diagnosis ha going. So I believe this is what sets Bright Behavior Therapy apart from just uh, any other probably organization or just having just a pure diagno diagnosis from a doctor. Uh, you do, as you mentioned on your website, you do personalized care. And this is what you mean by personalized, is taking care uh, and it's like it, it, supporting these families psychologically and emotionally and walking them through the whole process not just telling them your child might have something yes. or, or uh, just autism without without anything without telling them exactly what it tr truly is and we do understand that the internet is a very scary place for even mm -hmm. normal diagnosis so we are very thankful for helping uh, our future generation and these children have a better future and these families uh, if I must say, helping these families reduce the ambiguity of what autism t is truly, it truly is. Um, Sonia, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, what are the future goals for Bright Behavior Therapy in West Bloomfield and in other branches? And how, um, how do you suppose you will integrate more research and science-based evidence into uh, Bright Behavior Therapy? Yeah, we're looking to expand, touch more families. Um, we're continuously looking for effective treatment, um, continue, uh, continuing our education, um, being on the forefront of getting the proper treatment and therapy. We're here um, to help support the families. We are constantly trying to reach out to family members that don't even know we exist right now. So that's part of this interview. Um, we would love to be part of, um, we're working with a Goldfish Swim School, which is actually down the street from us, uh, on getting classes set up for kids with autism specifically. So those classes will help. We're expanding to help support 
families with even as minimal as getting a haircut um, and going to the dentist. We want to be part of every aspect for these families and ease um, any part that they find difficult. Uh, Sonia, we do understand that you also play an, a role in raising autism awareness in schools and in uh, groups and other organizations. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? And I uh, happened to see some of your videos educating some school students about what autism is. And, and you also mentioned something about um, how you interact with autistic child. You also have a blog about that. Can you please tell us a little bit about your awareness, uh, autism awareness? role? So where I try to integrate autism awareness in the schools is inclusivity. Once our child um, ages out of our specific therapy, we send them to school, we collaborate with the schools, we attend IEP meetings, we are currently training Dearborn Public Schools um, um, Oh my goodness, I lost my train of thought, the name of um, paraprofessionals. We're working with paraprofessionals to train them to be able to handle behaviors, what to look for, how to gain independence in the school setting. So this is where we're trying to raise awareness in the classroom, awareness in the schools, um, and working with Goldfish Swim School also to gain awareness through you know, inclusivity as well. We're working to include all of these children in um, in the community to be part of day-to-day -day living. Well, we are very thankful for what you do. Again, for anybody who wants any helpful tip for, uh, for interacting with autistic child and for what Sonia called a creating a more inclusive environment for children with autism, you can always check out their social media at uh, Bright Behavior Therapy on both Facebook and Instagram. So it's at Bright Behavior Therapy. And you can also check out their website, www.brightbehaviortherapy.com. They have a blog post. Uh, every once in a while that talks a little bit more about how to create a more inclusive environment as Sonia mentioned for children with autism and what autism is uh, and how to interact with children with autism. Uh, so many research backed uh, information on there, amazing information. I really uh, urge everybody to go ahead and read these incredible blog posts. Uh, Sonia, thank you so much for being with us today. And just as a final word, Sonia, what do you say with uh, f for families that has just noticed or just found out that their child is diagnosed with autism? First and foremost, it's essential to remember that you are not alone. There are family support groups out there, parent groups. Um, early intervention is key. Consult with a professional psychologist. Make sure you are advocating for your child and gain as much knowledge as possible. Parents, you guys are the voice of these children. It's very important to know that you should be advocating for your child to receive the best service, whether it's at Bright or anywhere. Um, make sure you are gaining as much training as possible. We focus on parent training heavily, and that's because you guys are mostly around. Uh, you guys are the ones that are spending the most time around your children. So that's very important. Connecting with support groups, knowing that you're not alone, visiting multiple centers, making sure you find the most appropriate center for your child. Um, that's what I have to say, and I really appreciate being on this show today, and thank you for having me.